DNA gel electrophoresis is commonly used to find size of DNA fragments, analyze PCR products, etc. Now this is one technique that is used by molecular biology labs probably every single day. Whatever techniques you do, usually you end up using gel electrophoresis for analysis. Now to make a gel, you need to take some agarose, weigh the amount needed to make gel, add measured amount of buffer to it and then microwave or you can also heat it on a hot plate or a burner to dissolve agarose and now pour the slurry in a gel case. Once it cools down, it solidifies and it is ready for electrophoresis. Now as we saw that agarose is need, needs to be dissolved in buffer and most common buffers used by labs are TAE or TBE buffer. Now let's imagine that you successfully did a PCR and now you wish to analyze the amplified DNA by electrophoresis. So why don't you make 120 ml of 0.7% agarose gel in 0.5x TBE buffer where TBE buffer consists of tris, borate and EDTA and the stock TBE concentration in your lab is 5x. So let's start the calculation uh, with agarose. What it says is we need to make 0.7% agarose that is 0.7 gram per cent or 0.7 grams per 100 per 100 of what? Per 100 of water, right? So 0.7 grams per 100 ml of water. But your gel case holds a volume of 120 ml instead of 100 ml. That is why you want to make a gel of 120 ml. So you need 0.7 grams of agarose for 100 ml of what a buffer you need to measure how many grams of agarose you need to take to make 120 ml of gel right so it's a directly proportional relationship 0.7 grams of agarose for 100 ml of buffer so how many grams of agarose for 120 ml of buffer since it's directly proportional relationship the outer values and the inner values multiply together and you get x grams into 100 ml is equal to 0.7 grams into 120 ml. To find the value of x grams, you take 100 ml on the other side of the equation. Since it's in numerator on the left side, when it crosses and it goes to the right side, it goes to the denominator and you get x grams is equal to 0.7 into 120 divided by 100 that is 0.84 grams and if you see uh, you know let's imagine that you had 100 ml of buffer for which you take 0.7 grams of agarose but in our case we are making 120 ml of buffer right so it is 100 ml plus this 20 ml extra and that is why we need 0.7 grams of agarose and little bit extra which makes it 0.84 grams right now we need to calculate the amount of buffer we require <clears throat> and for that we'll use the formula c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 where c1 is the concentration of stock tbe which is 5x in our case V1 is the volume of stock TBE which is unknown and that is what we want to calculate. V1 is the amount of TB, stock TBE buffer that we need to dilute and make the working solution. C2 is the concentration of working TBE solution which is 0.5x and V2 is the volume of working TBE solution which is 120 ml that is the volume of gel we want to prepare. right? 
so according to the formula c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 we get 5x into v1 is equal to 0.5x into 120 ml to find the value of v1 we take 5x on the other side of the equation and it goes into the denominator so what we get is v1 is equal to 0.5x into 120 ml divided by 5x and that gives us 12 ml so it says that you need to take 5x stock TBE buffer and take 12 ml of it and make up the volume by adding water to 120 ml right so in order to make the gel you take 5x stock TBE buffer I'll equal 12 ml from it and to that essentially you need to add 0.84 grams agarose uh, add 108 ml of water and make up the volume to 120 ml right so you basically take the 5x TBE buffer I'll equal 12 ml of it into a measuring cylinder and to that add 108 ml of water make up the volume to 120 ml now you take a flask and measure 0.84 grams of agarose in the balance uh, put it in the put the agarose in the flask and to that add the buffer which you just made and now simply microwave it right 